What's going on? Oh, oh, so lit. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> listen, listen. So, I am out here in the New Orleans, okay? Now, listen. First of all, um, we leaving tomorrow. Well, whenever you post this, this just the day before we leave. Um, I will say that so far, I'll give a detail thing. And it's really not much to give a detail because, honestly, what I can say about this trip is... We came down here and we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. And it wasn't one of those situations where, oh, we coming down here to get drunk and we coming down here to party and all that stuff. No, it was just one of those situations where we literally came down here for my sister's birthday. Um, and it was more so like a relaxation of um, something to just let loose a little bit but also explore but to just be stress free because if y'all don't understand and know that it's just been a lot of stuff that's been going on within our family um um since last well actually since two years ago when my mom had her heart attack um heart attacks because it was like two back to back because they was trying to figure out what was going on with her and it was because she had a they still don't know and then like it was like one of those freaking nations and it's probably one of those situations like i said where everything like the stress and everything just built up so you know and trying to get her back to better health and um then next thing you know father passed away you got it. And we still dealing with that, still dealing with all of that, plus some personal things that was going on with myself. Um, and uh, my sister, you know, she is out there helping my mom. You know what I'm saying? And she really needed this like break, even if it was just for a few days. She really, really needed this break just to chill out, not have to worry about nothing. And that's literally what we did. But we did go out and I will say this. If I would have came down here by myself currently, I don't know if I would have did the things that I did. And what I mean by that, I mean like just going out and exploring by myself. I want those people like, listen, I mean, I could solo travel, but I will probably spend more time in a hotel. And that ain't good because first of all, I get a little nervous. I, I, social anxiety, you know what I'm saying? Introvert as ever. And then trying to go out and mingle and all that stuff. And then it's like, in my head, it's like, oh, it'll be more fun if I had somebody else with me or whatever. But, you know, I'm glad that for one, oh, excuse me, my sister was here with me. It was somebody that I actually trust. And um, we actually got out into the city. Baby, we out here in the French Quarters, okay? In the French Quarters. Uh, we done went and seen some sites. We went to a few museums. Like, we literally emerged ourselves into the culture. Okay, learned so much stuff about Louisiana, New Orleans, Mardi Gras, um, how everything came to be, the French quarters, the garden uh, neighborhood, I think it's called, or uh, Treme, the oldest black neighborhood in the country. Like, listen, 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 it's it's a lot. It's a lot. Baby, we went over there to um, where they filmed American Horror Story Coven, got that house. I said, oh my God, look at that. We, mm, we went there. We went, oh my God, we went to the Katrina in the Mardi Gras Museum, right? And first of all, we went to the what is it, the Cabildo Cabildo Museum, talking about how you know the state came to be and New Orleans came to be and all that stuff and Andrew Jackson and the Spanish War, all that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, that's cute or whatever. That's cute or whatever. But you know, he was a racist and all of that stuff. Y'all know the history with Andrew Jackson. I was like, mm -hmm, okay. But then, you know, my sister was like, the Katrina Museum next door. And I said, let's go. We should have went to that one first, okay? I said, where is the blacks? Where is the blacks? Because that is what I'm here for. Baby... <sighs> I went up into that museum. It was a little heavy, but it was light heavy. But 
oh, seeing the artifacts and everything, um, you know, things that was around during Katrina, the videos, the news reports that was happening at that time, seeing different artifacts from uh, uh, pieces and things that came from the actual whole uh, uh, storm and everything and, you know, the wall where this guy was writing everything about what was going on in his apartment until he got rescued. Um, he was writing all this stuff on this wall. You know, it was like a journal, a journal. And um, <clears throat> it was a lot. It was a lot, but it was deep. It was very informative. And then we went up on the second floor, which was giving you the history of Mardi Gras and all of that and to see the costumes and you know um it was just oh uh, it was just amazing it was it was beautiful baby i ain't got that type of talent i ain't got that type of ingenuity to be doing all of that stuff i didn't know like the black american indians uh mardi gras indians out here um i hope i'm saying it right like they make their costumes and they only wear it once. They wear that one costume that one time doing Mardi Gras for whatever. And then they make a totally different one for the next year. I said, bitch, what? Y'all got time I ain't got. <laughs> Y'all got time I ain't got. And them, them costumes are beautiful. And they look heavy as hell. Okay. And when we saw it, because when you come straight into the um, Katrina slash Mardi Gras uh, hotel, uh, museum, soon as you come in to like uh get your ticket and all that stuff it's literally uh one of the outfits one of the you know black indian mardi gras indian outfits right there right and my goodness the shit look heavy as hell and i'm looking at it and i was like you you, you hot i just know y'all be hot baby let me tell you something i'm pretty sure it's hot just about everywhere i'm from chicago we get a little heat here and there okay um, the weather has been a little nice, you know what I'm saying? And it was like 70 something when I left or whatever, but actually it was like 50 something in the morning because it was early in the morning. Cause we got on like a 715 flight. Mind you tomorrow or whenever tomorrow, Wednesday, our flight leave at seven o'clock in the morning, girl. Okay. Okay. Baby, when I tell you, we both sat down on that chair. I said, Oh wow. We here. <laughs> I asked my mom, I said, A.B., did you hear, um, because when the plane took off, y'all, when the plane took off, I'm telling you, it was this noise, and it had, it kept on going continuously, continuously for a good five minutes, and the plane was going side to side, side to side. Baby, I'm sitting here thinking, like, is this normal? And I'm thinking back in my brain now. The last time I was on the plane when it took off, did it make that type of sound? Actually, think back. I couldn't really think back. And what I'm thinking is, no, it did not. Okay? But then it eventually went off. And the, 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 the plane ride was kind of smooth sailing. I asked my sister. I said, did you hear that? She said, girl, I fell right to sleep as soon as I sat down in the chair. I said, well, all right. All right. I don't even know why I bothered to ask you. But um, anyway yes so we went up in there we had a good time um seeing the street performers and the street artists and everything that was really this let me tell you something louisiana is rich in culture louisiana is so rich in culture well i should say new orleans because that's where i'm at but i'm gonna say louisiana too but i'm gonna say new orleans okay new orleans is so rich in culture and it's like a whole different it's like a different it's nowhere in the United States that is the same as you. It's literally its own culture. Okay. You got, you know, places like Chicago and you got places like New York. You can kind of say that they like cousins or, you know, big brother, sister, something like that, because they're very similar big cities and all of that stuff. Right. And you could probably say that about other, uh, you know, states like in the South or whatever. But when you come to New Orleans, it's totally different. I just really wanted to hear that accent and I I was hitting it girl and I was just like yeah <laughs> I said okay y'all know what it is y'all know what it is I said all right all right yeah I'm here I'm here okay um but yeah girl we fucked around and came down here on Cinco de Mayo did I realize that it was Cinco de Mayo when we came out here on um Sunday absolutely not we did go out 
um we didn't stay out too long but we went out explored you know the, the it was popping down here it's been popping down here ever since and i was like y'all ain't gotta go to work and they said bitch fuck all that i said oh, okay do what you gotta do okay because i ain't gotta go to work either you know what i'm saying not not until the weekend you know but um when they it's like i will say so respectable so respectable every place that we have been to so far so nice and i'm talking about the staff the people who stay down here now the tourists the other tourists that are out here especially the white ones because i've been seeing way more white people than i've been seeing black <clears throat> and older white people at this time i was just like oh okay but you know we went to a couple of places we went to the quarter two sisters for lunch i mean for breakfast today which was like this buffet style breakfast you know what i'm saying and baby they had some eggs that was cooked to perfection they had some cream of spinach that i ate and i said oh my god you know we're about to go to this gumbo place later uh for dinner um because we got to get some gumbo got to get some jambalaya and all that stuff in before we leave um where else did we go we went to a couple of restaurants around here and the food has been excellent it has been filling but not too heavy like i thought it would be but just filling and everything so you don't even have to eat as much as you think you want to eat because you ain't gonna be able to but it's just it was ugh, a lot of walking which we needed and again i'm so glad my sister invited me and said as she come with me and we was just out here just you know going here going there you know um just exploring our surroundings you know what i'm saying Got a lot of souvenirs, um, and uh, we did go on to a, a we went on a bus tour of the city. It was me and my sister, this other young, I would say youngish white couple. They probably was in their late thirties, early forties. Um, and then we had this other two couples that were older. They probably was like their 70s or 60s or something like that, you know. And one of the couples was from New York. And the lady that was from New York, she was just like really, really irritated. At one point, we on the bus. She going to mess around and ask the bus driver, the, 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 the person that was giving us all the history of New Orleans and where we was going or whatever, right? She going to say... Well, they don't have no McDonald down here. I said, it's, I was about to say something. I had to close my mouth. And he even looked like, well, I mean, they do. But, and I'm thinking like, if I'm going, okay, if I'm going to New York, maybe I want to go to a McDonald's or something quick or whatever, or get some pizza or whatever. I mean, I don't know what you get up in New York or whatever. It seems like just like Chicago, you probably get some fast food, probably go to a restaurant here and there. But I'm coming down to New Orleans, okay? I am coming down to New Orleans where there's Creole food, Cajun food, all these different type of food, different type of delicacies, all of this shit, right? I want to try that. You can get McDonald's up in New York, bitch, okay? That's where you from, right? Go to New York and go get some goddamn McDonald's. I don't understand going off on a vacation and going to get fast food and the only fast food that's probably acceptable to get down here is if you go to Popeye's because they say that it tastes better than any Popeye's any in any country you know what I'm saying because this is where it was from New Orleans you know but to ask how can they got no McDonald's take your ass back to New York if you want some goddamn McDonald's okay we ain't do no Uber Eats or nothing. I swear, if I would have been up in here by myself, I definitely would have Uber Eated or, or DoorDash something, you know. But we literally went to different restaurants and stuff, you know. And the bus trip, the bus tour was really good. The bus tour was really, really good. Baby, we went over there to the water. <sighs> when we saw... The parts where the levees are and to realize how below sea level parts of New Orleans is like in a few years or so it's a possibility like in a couple of decades or so New Orleans could be underwater you know what I'm saying that's it, it's crazy it's crazy and to see the uh the pumping stations and you know um the levees and how they come out and everything I was like oh my god so that's how they look and to see how where it started to flood at during Katrina 
and how it was able to, you know, cross over the embankment and to see how much water came up, to see that shit in person, to see th that put a different perspective about how much water came into New Orleans. Them levees ain't short, okay? They're tall. And that water came all the way up and then came over and just kept spilling over. And this house is literally right there, right? Oh, girl, I felt some way. I, that part of the bus tour, it just really brought me down. Like, my spirit was really down at that time. Because we went to a part where um, some of the houses that did not get too messed up because they were like brick houses. So, all they had to do was get gutted out and, re, re, you know, remodel, reconstructed or whatever. But, like, the wood houses was totally destroyed. And there was a lot of new stuff that was over there that wasn't there before. But some of the original houses, you can literally see, like, the water line to where the water was. And they were up to, they were practically underwater. I was just like, wow. It was a lot. It was very, very informative. Very, very heavy. It made me sad. It made me so goddamn sad. Because I said, people really went through this shit. And I just know... I told my sister, I said, can you imagine if I was in this? She said, you probably would have died because you would have had a panic attack. And I know how you would have did. I said, excuse me, damn, you ain't even give me no hope and no chance. Granted, yes, I would have had a panic attack. Ain't no lie about it. My anxiety, all that shit. But no, we would have. Mm, that would have. Mm. Shout out to everybody who survived Katrina and went through that and still trying to thrive out here. It, that, that, that was a lot. But, um. Girl, I found out that I've been saying praline the wrong way this whole time. It's not praline. It's pralines. I said, what? He said it again. Pralines. I said, oh, I'm going to let you have it because you are from here, born and raised in your family history here. So I'm going to be like, yes, you actually know what you're talking about. So I'm just going to let you have it. Okay, sir. Um... And then it's not burgundy, it's burgundy. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? So he's just been saying stuff wrong all the time, right? Baby. Um, some of the houses, oh my god, the music, the jazz, and we went to Jackson Park, um, we went to Congo Square, we went to Armstrong Park, we went to City Park, oh, we went to Cafe. Uh, what is it, Cafe? Oh, Damn, what's the cafe where they get the uh, Cafe Mandubet? Mm -hmm. Bitch, and I got stuff from there. Y'all know the one where the, uh, the famous cafe with the Bengays and stuff. Baby, let me tell you something. I ain't even a sugar girl no more like that. But girlfriend, we went to that cafe. M-U-N-D. Y'all know which one I'm talking about. I feel so dumb right about now, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Baby, we went there and oh, they were hot, fresh out the oil. Put that little powder. I mean, the bag was full of powdered sugar. Bit into that bitch and oh my God. I said, oh, okay. So I get it. I, I definitely get it. I was like, yes. Okay. Y'all did that. Mind you, that's a delicacy of New Orleans, right? Find out you know, like the French Quarter ain't really French, it's Spanish. The architecture and everything is Spanish. And I like the fact that in you, while you out here, there's different signs or whatever, like his, it, giving it historical landmarks and, you know, saying, well, this was this and this was that. And this came about at this time and this was usually called this and all that. It's such like, it's, it's amazing. Um... And like me and my sister said, she was like, this is just like that type of trip that you go and you try to fill out the city first or whatever. See if you like it. You know what I'm saying? But we will be back down here. And then when we come back down here, we want to come back down doing Mardi Gras. We will be more like for the social life or whatever. Even though it was a lot of stuff going on around here, <laughs> we protect in some stuff or whatever. But like the nightlife for real, for real and you know, just really letting loose. We gonna do that. And we gotta go. We gotta go that, um, baby, we gonna have to lose a little bit more weight. Okay. You know, she a little chunk monk too. I'm a little, I'm bigger than her, but she a little chunk monk too. But, um, 
yeah, we're going to have to lose a little bit of weight, a little bit more weight. We both on that little journey. We both doing good because I was like, damn, she's all right. You know, she was like, girl, I'm fitting in stuff that I ain't even know. I couldn't fit last year and all this stuff because I wanted to wear this at Puerto Rico. I wanted to do this and this, that, like a shirt. Girl, this a dress on me now. I said, I know that's the fuck right. Okay. And I got some clothes on. All the clothes that I had on today, all the clothes that I had on this trip, baby, they too big day too big i said wow so the shirt that i got on right about now it looked like a fucking tent on me and i feel so uh, about it but in a way i'm like oh, okay because that means that i did something you know what i'm saying so yes um but we stayed at hotel saint marie Mm-hmm. and it is it's nice it's nice it, 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 bitch, I'm going to just tell you this. You a big bitch. You probably going to have to go through some of these doors through the side. Like You're going to have to let it turn to the side. I said, girl, this was, I know this shit was made back in the day when everybody was skinty. <laughs> I said, look at the bathroom, the bathroom, toilet. Girl, I got a scooty in. I feel like one of them hoes off of uh, my hundred, uh, what is it? My 600 pound life. You know, one of them episodes when they be trying to go to the bathroom and they have to go to the side. They can't just walk in there. They got to literally turn to the side. Baby, that's how it is. Once I get up in that thing, I'm good. It's just the frame is real small. I said, this is definitely some European type stuff. But, oh my God, y'all. If y'all have never been to New Orleans, I want y'all to come. I really want y'all to come. It is such a amazing experience. Don't even just come for like the nightlife and for the party. Because I mean, they had the French quarters and Burbage. All that shit just be all night. All night long, girl. Baby, they was playing on Cinco de Mayo. One side of the street was playing rap music. The other side was playing Beyonce. No lie. It was this one uh, spot. They was just playing Beyonce the whole time. Okay. Each time we walked past, no matter what it was, they was just playing her whole discography. I said, oh, I'm in the right place. Go down the other plot on the other side. Why is Selena playing? And then it's the bounce Selena. I said, <laughs> I was just, I said, listen, one thing about some, one thing about the majority of black people, we going to love us on Selena. And um, they was doing it big for Selena on Cinco de Mayo. I said, all right. Um, it was really, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to be real ignorant right here. I think of New Orleans as a black city, right? And when I think of that, I don't think of anybody else but black people being here, right? I do know that I was going to see some white people. Then I realized I was going to see as many white people as I saw. But also, when we was walking and going to the restaurant and explore, we went to a park where it was a bunch of like Asians and they were, you know, outside just sitting around, you know, asking if you want to come in for a massage. I said, oh my God. Like, you see stuff like this on TikTok and Instagram, but to actually know, I know it sounds ignorant. I know it sounds ignorant. Um, anyway, so yeah, you got that. Um, <clears throat> what else was going on? My body actually was cooperating. I was so glad about that because I was scared, you know. But anyway, yes, girl, y'all got to come down here. It is so fun. It is so rich in culture. It is so, it's such a beautiful city. It's such a beautiful city, okay? It's so like an architecture dream, you know? And I'm into that shit. I've always said if I one of my goals to go to is to go to Europe and take a tour around Europe and look at the architecture, and hold on, I'm trying to open up the door. See, and it's a pool over there, but I hope y'all was able to see that. If not, it's basically the courtyard. Um, it's a whole bunch of white people. And it's older white people too. Like, girl, what? I said, next time we're going to have to be down here when all the niggas going to be down here. But, uh, yeah, girl. We got to get ready. Going to go to dinner later. And then we're going to be home tomorrow. But, um, having fun.
And one more thing, I forgot. We, on that bus tour, we went to a cemetery, okay? We was going past all the cemeteries and, you know, we saw the different crypt, uh, I guess it's called crypts or tombs or whatever you want to call it. No, no offense. Um, how they have them in and have multiple, it's like family tomb, family crypts or whatever. Um, because, you know, most of the cemeteries or the ones that we went to, like, they're, they don't very underground most of the time. And I have never been somewhere, like, we was literally standing in the middle of history, okay? Because you literally got, and when I say history, I mean people that been around or was around back in the 1700s that was buried in the cemeteries that we went to and was passing by, you know? And it was just so fascinating to see that. Uh, one of the cemeteries, uh, crypts or whatever, it was shaped like, uh, what was it? A pyramid. It had like Egyptian stuff out there. It was, it was, it was amazing. Okay. The architecture, like I was saying. Um, and there was this one, we went to the Lakeview Cemetery and it has this big monument to the Confederate soldiers that died. Some of the Confederate soldiers that died that are in that crypt. And uh, when we got off the bus, because he let us get off the bus and go walk around for a few to take uh, closer pictures and stuff and look at the, um, you know, cemetery and all that stuff. Why that couple that I said, uh, the lady that was asking about the McDonald's, why they stop right there? They didn't go no further. They went straight to the Confederate, um, you know, monument, taking pictures and everything. And I was just like... It was just, it was just really like, you know, I felt, I ain't even gonna lie, when we was on that bus tour, baby, when he started talking about how black people, you know, influenced uh, New Orleans and all that stuff and woo, 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 and just bringing other black folks and all that, you know, it, it kind of felt a little awkward because we were the only black people on that tour. And um, we got older white people that probably said the n-word in their later their earlier years or whatever and that white lady that was sitting in front of me like i said miss new york miss mcdonald's she was very much giving those teas like why the hell are you there why are we here you know i like i said the people who are from here from new orleans just nothing but nice the hotel staff was nothing but nice every establishment that we went into nothing but nice people okay how you doing you're greeting us making sure we're okay you know asking if we need help do we need something else striking up conversations you know they just strike up random conversations and you just want to listen right it's the tourists like when we was going to the court of two sisters um for breakfast it was this uh when we turned the corner we wind up behind this group of white people you know older white people and it was two men, older men, that was in the group. And they were on the tail end of the group, okay? And so when they, I guess, realized that we was going to the same place, now you're in front of us and you're opening up the door for your party to get through or whatever because it's women and everything. And we just thinking that, you know, just hospitality, chivalry, I don't know. Um, just open up the door, keep the door open so we can come through. No, he will hurry up and uh, let that door close let it try to close on us both times because it was two doors that you had to go through to get in there and i peeped it and he did it on purpose and i was just like oh okay like i, I ain't got time for this I, I really don't and it was it was sometimes like we was on the um elevator like this woman looked us up and down like what the fuck y'all doing here bitch y'all can afford this hell yeah and we probably afford something more than what you got when we was in the airport because we were boarding first in line, you know, uh, group one because we had first class, you know. And this white couple, the woman, of course, she looked my sister up and down and then she looked at me and I was just like, the fuck you looking at? And she did it twice. And I... I, I the microaggression, the micro, it's just, it's just, it's just, I was just like, you know what? I'm not even going to pay no attention to it, but that's just what happened. And again, it wasn't the people that stay here. It's the tourists. Okay. You're not even from here and you're giving all this flavor. Baby, like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing it? You know, 
But anyway, yeah, it was it was something being up in that cemetery, being in the cemetery, you know, um, going to the Mardi Gras Museum, like I said. Uh, we got to see Anne Rice Crip, okay? Anne Rice, the author, interview with the vampire. We saw where some of the um the the, the what is it? <clears throat> True Blood interview with the vampire and some other shows that were filmed in that in, in a particular cemetery we went over there girl i was just like wow now i gotta go watch trume you know um that show that was on uh hbo with uh wendell phillips baby i ain't never watched it but now that i know some of the history about the neighborhood and how it was black and mostly black owned and all that stuff and girl i'm about to go watch it and everything they said they filmed it down there and it was actually good a good show so i'm gonna check it out but yeah, be, be, beyond all of that, the food, excellent. The hospitality, excellent. Getting here, just excellent. It didn't take no, we had no troubles. I, I would say out of all the trips that I had where I thoroughly enjoyed myself, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. And this probably was the best trip that I had in a long, long time. I wasn't here for just a day and then we leave the next day or leave in two days no we was here for a few days and um we made the most of it and again like i said if you if this was one of my things to come to i wanted to come to new orleans i always wanted to come down here for the essence fest but see if i would have came down here for the essence fest i really would have came for like two days the day that i got here that day that i was going to be for the essence fest and probably leave the next day after that but this time, I'm really glad that we was able to come out here, explore the city, you know, get a feel for the people, just look at everything and just, uh, we went into this church. I think it's St. Louis Cathedral. I have never been in a church. It's right by the C C Cabildo and the um, Katrina Mardi Gras uh, Museum, right? We went up in there and I ain't ever been to no church and I darn sure have never been into a Catholic church or whatever. And I did not know. I also found out that the majority of the people out here, I don't know if it's still like that now, but the majority of the people of New Orleans was Catholic because that was what they brought over, you know, the Spanish and all of that. So I was like, oh, okay. So that was interesting. But yeah, we went up into that church and wow. I don't know, y'all. They had the, you know, like the hymns and stuff, you know, when they be humming and doing the songs or whatever, when it's just them humming and all that stuff. Girl, I don't know what it's called. Choral music or whatever. I don't know. I don't want to be disrespectful because I've never been to a church like that or anything. I just know as soon as we went up in there and we was looking around and I just felt this type of calm. I don't know, girl. I felt the calmness up in there. And we sat up in there for a little bit. And y'all have to understand, like, our background is, you know, we was just a witness. Girl, I can talk about some stuff that actually wind up happening the second day we got here. Yeah, the second day we got here. Woke up to a text message. Was it the second day or was it today? It was yesterday, I think. Or was it this morning? Nope, it was this morning, actually. See, I had to get it had another death in the family right and it could have been avoided so if you've seen the text message uh, uh not a text message but a tweet on my twitter and i said you know what i woke up to another reason as to why i am glad that i am no longer associated with your witnesses that is what it's about i i just don't understand like we'll talk about that in another in another situation in another video because it, it was it, it's something that could have been avoided. But see, we I'm not trying to let that bring me down. And I'm more so upset about what happened in the actual passing. Because it was inevitable. Well, we knew that it possibly would happen. But it shouldn't have happened this soon. It was one of those situations. But and religion played a whole part in the reason why it happened as soon as it did. Ugh. Anyway, anyway, I didn't mean to get so heavy like that. But... Yeah, girls. Yeah, guys. 
Shout out to my New Orleans peoples and all of that stuff. We had a good time. It was fun. All right. We're about to go get something to eat. And then we're about to lay it down because we got to get up early in the morning. Okay. Baby, our flight is leaving at 7 o'clock. That means we are leaving out of here at 5 o'clock, which means we have to be up at least by 4.30. <laughs> 4 o'clock or 4.30. Okay. I ain't got time for it. <sighs> but anyway, I will see you guys back when I'm at home. So we are here doing a tour of the goddamn cemetery. And the rich cemetery. The rich cemetery. All these I ain't never seen so many tombs with so many old dates from like 1800, 1700. Bitch. This is wild. Just come into the cemetery and look at the different names and figure out who you want to get rid of. We asked for the Confederate soldiers, baby. We don't. <laughs> You know, you like, mm -mm. 